Today I fucked up by holding a grudge for 29 years against a kid at school who called me Carrot Boy. The names including my own have been modified to false names. About 29 years ago I was in the third grade. I took one of the carrot packs out of my lunchbox, the kind that came with a little cup of ranch dressing. All of the sudden this kid Balthasar said, Hey everyone look, Tim is a carrot boy. Everyone at the whole lunch table started to laugh. I couldn't believe it. For some reason, that incident really stuck with me. Nobody really brought it up again, but I became self-conscious in elementary school for eating carrots. Later, I lost the self-consciousness, but all through school and into adulthood I always thought of that and built it up in my head as this big disrespectful insult to me. Whenever I eat carrots, the memory pops up, basically involuntarily. Whenever I see carrots I remember Balthasar going, Hey everyone look, Tim is a carrot boy. And hear the laughter. What you should know is that I am from a small town, and although I left a lot of the kids I knew are still there. I saw that over the holidays there was an impromptu high school reunion event scheduled. I decided to show up, I haven't seen these people regularly in a long time. Well who should be there but Balthasar? All of the sudden the old anger welled up in me. I don't know what I was thinking, it seems so ridiculous now, but I saw a big tray of carrots meant for everyone at the buffet table, and I picked up the entire tray and carried it to Balthi's table. I started eating carrots angrily. Everyone at the table and surrounding tables was staring at me. I then said, guess I'm still a carrot boy, huh? I almost immediately realized my fuck up when everyone looked at me like I was insane and had no idea what I was referencing. So I awkwardly asked Balthaw and the other people around if they remembered him calling me a carrot boy in third grade, and nobody did. So I was like, this did happen, you really did call me a carrot boy. And he was like, uh, okay, sorry man. Somebody next to me put their hand on my arm and whispered to me, are you okay? As if I was having a mental breakdown or something. I was so embarrassed that I just got up and left. Multiple people have texted me asking me if I am alright, and why did I do that? And did I really hold a grudge for some innocuous, silly remark that a third grader made almost 30 years ago? When it was put to me like that, I realized maybe I was the one being weird. Balthasar wasn't like a bully or something. Aside from that one insult he never did anything else to me and in high school was kind of known as being a do-gooder. I had built it up as this major incident but nobody else even remembered it. I was horrified to find that several people from the reunion unfriended me on Facebook and I saw photos of the event and somebody had tagged me in the background as Carrot Boy, and none other than Balthasar responded to the post asking the poster to remove the tag, even though several other people had replied with laugh emojis. Now I feel like I have made a huge fool of myself and can never show myself in this town again. Well, maybe that's okay, I don't like the town anyways. But I am so embarrassed I can hardly sleep and it has been a few weeks since the incident. Oh God, too long did not read. In third grade this kid called me, Carrot Boy, and I have had a grudge about it ever since and I made a fool of myself at a reunion. And then he realized, he was no longer a Carrot Boy. Wipes tear, dot but a Carrot Man. The best part is the one who called you Carrot Boy ended up being the one to have your back. It's too good, like a sitcom. Costanza level stuff. Goes to party. Eats all the carrots. Calls himself Carrot Boy. Refuses to elaborate. Leaves. I then said, Guess I'm still a carrot boy, huh? Lol, classic carrot boy. This sounds like an unfilmed episode of Seinfeld. I can absolutely picture George aggressively eating carrots and screaming, Guess I'm still a carrot boy, huh? Today I fucked up by flashing my boyfriend's mom. Unfortunately this did not happen today but I feel like other than that it's the perfect place to tell this story because I see a n n o t t t t. Slay okay so this was during summer 2022, me and my boyfriend had been together for a few months at this point, you can imagine, super duper in love, all the cute playful giggles and googly eyes you can imagine, fun right? Wrong. Now I don't know about you, but I have never had or met anyone with a doorbell camera, of course I know people had them because of funny videos on the internet recorded via ring doorbell camera, but for some reason I didn't think people actually had them, didn't even cross my mind. My mom is a sweet and sunny Mediterranean lady who cannot stand the English weather, so she's always in her element when summer comes around, so we usually just sunbathe in the backyard together drinking beachy cocktails she makes like sangrias and margaritas. This is relevant because it would have been just noon and I'm already, steaming. 
At this point in our relationship both me and my boyfriend still lived at home but we would see each other every day, one night we'd spend at my house, the other at his house so we both got to still see our parents and spend time with each other's family. Today was at his house, so he came and picked me up to take me there whilst indeed under the influence. When we pulled up and got out of the car, I thought it'd do something a bit cheeky so I lifted up my tank top and yes you guessed it, showed him all the titties the eye could see. To this day we still do things like that, and usually it wouldn't be a problem, but instead of him reacting how he normally would, he told me to put my shirt back down and pointed at the doorbell camera mounted on his parents' front door. Yikes. His mom saw the footage, she deleted it before my boyfriend's dad could see it too. I never heard a word of it from her, but my boyfriend suffered an awkward conversation about it while I wasn't there. His dad still doesn't know thankfully LMAO. Anyways me and him are engaged now and I think it's safe to say that his mom doesn't hate me so yes it was embarrassing but I got the happy ending I wanted. TLR my boyfriend's mom saw my boobs through the ring doorbell camera. No she doesn't hate me but I am sure my boyfriend got an earful, oops. But I got the happy ending I wanted. Well said haha. I honestly read, flushing, not, flashing, and was seriously expecting some beloved cremated remains to go down the pan. So I'm actually quite relieved. A little off topic but, what the fuck does, slay, mean? Especially at the beginning of a story where there's no contact for it. For what it's worth your boyfriend's dad likely got the notification too but, didn't see it. No judgment, but y'all are engaged after less than a year? I am not definitely not that type of person rolling on the floor laughing. The way you say, summer 2022, instead of seven months ago tears of joy threw me off lol. You were already sleeping over at each other's homes. I suspect the conversation was a lot more awkward for your boyfriend than it was his mom. Today I fucked up by letting my daughter's friend break a toy. My 10-year-old daughter had another 10-year-old friend over. They both like the game, Five Nights at Freddy's, and talk about it constantly. At some point the girls emerge from my daughter's room holding a bear. I can tell it has a talk box in it because of the way it is being held. They both start heading outside saying, we are going to beat up this creepy bear. I stop them and ask them to clarify if that was really going to be okay. The friend said that it was creepy and she didn't like it anymore. Good enough for me. Have fun. I call as they disappear or the front door. At one point, I looked out and they were trying to ramp a scooter across it. They were throwing it back and forth. It looked like they had fun. Of course it broke and I told them to throw it away if they were done with it. They had a lot of fun and then the friend went home. I'm feeling good about how it went and hoping that my daughter and her remain good friends. I'm recently divorced and this was the first visit for her in my new home. I got a text from the mom laying into me just now. That was an original 1985 Teddy Ruxpin worth a couple hundred on eBay. She's asking me to help pay for a new one. I went from feeling good about the visit to feeling terrible in about 0.4 seconds. The icing was that the mom vowed to not let the friend back at my house ever again. Too long did not read. I let my daughter's friend bring her Teddy Ruxpin over and ruin it in front of me. Now her mom is pissed and wants me to pay for a new one. ETA. I am seeing now that these things were not as expensive as the mom suggested they were. Which is relieving. Also, yes it was the friend's toy, she had brought it over. Update. The mother wasn't going for anything out of box. She cited bedbugs and smoking. Whatever. There's one in box she wants to buy for $112, I agreed to half of it. And apparently the other half will come out of the girl's Christmas money crying. It was a gift from an aunt and has some value in that way for some reasons that I'm not clear on. You all have been kind suggesting it's the mother's foo, but after a lot of thinking it, it's still mine. Every 10 year old is going to have a different maturity level and responsibility. To be concise I fucked up by assuming she knew the valuation of her own toy, which I can't assume. One thing that made it hard was that my ex-wife has already vouched for me to this mom who was hesitant to send her child to my house to begin with. It was a test I did poorly on. Oh well, live and learn. The important part is learn so living will continue to get better. Tell the fucking idiot mom not to let her 10 year old out of the house with an expensive collector's item. This is not on you. It's on the friend for one. Wanting to break her own toy and two, lying about it to her mom. When I was five or seven years old, I was the girl who wrongly accused my neighbor of cutting the bunnies off my baby mobile, so I could play with them, but for some reason I told my mom it was my neighbor. 
I'm guessing the girl has such a wonderful mom, as evidenced by the message she so graciously sent you, and she was afraid to fess up and decided to blame it on you. Dude, just look up 1985 Teddy Ruxpin on eBay and look at sold listings in the past year. It's hardly worth the box it came in. Today I fucked up by not noticing my vibrator turned on by itself. I, 18F, have a really small, really shitty, really loud vibrator. Honestly, I'm in college, it's what I could afford. I used it yesterday, no need to go into detail there, but I must have done something wrong when I put it away. Today I woke up feeling sick, which I'm going to blame for not noticing. Around the time my mom came home from work I went upstairs to my room to avoid getting her sick too and there was this strange noise. It sounded like someone was drilling through concrete and I thought, oh, just my luck, the neighbor is feeling crafty, and kept using my phone. A couple minutes later my mom comes in asking what the hell is that noise, which is when I realize it's coming from inside my room. My first thought was, holy shit, the outlet is on fire, again, I'm sick, so I jump out of my bed and start looking for sparks. Meanwhile, my mom has located the source of the noise as my wood dresser where I keep my vibe and asks, hopefully innocently but realistically I know she could tell, why is this vibrating? I swear my stomach left my body, I stuck my hand in there and sure enough the damn thing was going by itself. I reach in blindly to try and turn it off without taking it out of the drawer because my mom is still standing right behind me with a weirded out look on her face. I manage to stop it, unconvincingly say something along the lines of, wow that was weird haha, and try to usher her out of my room. When she's almost gone, it turns on again, I jump back and reach in again to pry the damn batteries off and this time successfully kick her out. I'm mortified, it was very obvious what it was. I hope she doesn't think we need to have a conversation about it. She's never been the snooping type but I think I'm gonna move it anyway just to be safe. And hash x200b. Too long did not read. My vibrator loudly turned on by itself and my mother noticed before I did. Don't worry about it, it is equally awkward for her. Hopefully she didn't notice what it was or if she did, hopefully she won't bring it up. No need to go into detail there, well of course not. It's a back massager. For your sore back, of course. Obviously. Your mom probably has a better one. Don't worry. Your mom is probably dying laughing in the other room. Oh, just my luck, the neighbor is feeling crafty, is your vibrator powered perhaps by a diesel engine? Could be worse. My college girlfriend's mom snooped through her stuff while she was away and found our duffel bag full of sex toys and then pulled her aside and questioned her about if she was going to sex parties at college, completely ignoring the fact that she had a boyfriend at home and that she found the duffel bag at her house while she was away. My girlfriend was mortified. I found this hilarious.